In this video, I will demonstrate how to repair some basic inflatable toy damage, including pinholes, a puncture, and a seam split. The first step, and one of the most important, is to deflate the toy completely before attempting any repairs. Most solvent glues for repairing vinyl temporarily make the vinyl very soft and can result in making the damage worse than it started if the toy is not deflated first. Before using the glue, you will want to open some windows or take the whole operation outside, as the glue fumes are not healthy to breathe. After deflating the toy and locating the pinholes, the location around the damage is cleaned with alcohol. Wipe only in one direction, then come back with the dry swab to remove the remaining alcohol. The next step is relatively simple. No patch is actually needed. Just drip some of the MEK based glue onto the pinholes. Wait for the solvent to cure based on the manufacturer's recommendation and the toy will be ready to inflate again. I repeat the process, but this time on a painted region of the toy. The glue will mess up the paint very quickly if smeared with the brush, so it is imperative that the glue brush not touch the surface of the toy and disturb the paint. For the next type of damage, a puncture, a patch will be used. The toy is of course deflated first, and next a small patch with rounded corners is cut big enough to cover the puncture. Just like before, the toy is wiped with alcohol and dried with another swab. This time, however, the procedure is repeated with the side of the patch to be glued to the toy. Usually glue would be applied to both surfaces for the best bond, but due to the paint on the toy, I will not be applying glue to the toy side of the joint. Instead, I uniformly apply glue to the patch only. The glue is applied to the same side of the patch as I just cleaned. The patch, still wet with glue, is carefully pressed over the puncture and massaged into place. After letting the glue cure, the toy is ready to be inflated. Don't rush this. As I have said, the glue will leave the vinyl soft until the glue cures, making it easy to tear. Finally, the worst of the damage, a seam split. These repairs are similar to a puncture, except they usually require more patience to get the vinyl lined up and free of most wrinkles. I start again by wiping both the toy and the rounded patch with alcohol and drying them with a second pass from a dry swab. Again, I evenly coat the clean side of the patch with glue. Now for the tricky part. The entire patch is carefully positioned along the seam split and pressed into place. I massage out all wrinkles and before long the toy is ready to go.
Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.